Hey guys, how you doing? A lot of you in the comments section are often saying that you're looking to jump into DCS or you're looking for a new module to purchase and you don't know which one is best. So in today's video, I'm going to give you my top five aircraft in DCS for air to air. Now, when I say air to air, I mean BVR and within visual range engagements. So mostly Fox 3, Fox 2, and maybe we can do one of these videos um, for guns later down the road. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so starting out at number five, it's going to be the F-15 Eagle. The F-15 makes this list due to its very good and quick radar, its high payload capabilities, which allow you to carry a maximum of eight AMRAMs or six AMRAMs and two Sidewinders for those close-in encounters. The F-15 also enjoys a very high thrust to weight ratio, allowing you to get fast and outrun missiles the enemy is firing at you. The F-15 also has very good fuel capabilities and is capable of reaching high mock speeds at high altitudes which will be necessary for getting those long range AMRAM kills. However, the F-15 has a very major shortcoming compared to other aircraft. The F-15 does not have data link, which makes it much, much harder to maintain situational awareness. The F-15 also doesn't have a helmet mounted sight and therefore isn't capable of high off bore sight Fox 2 shots with the AIM-9X. All of these things considered, the F-15 makes the top 5 list as it's still one of the best air-to-air -air aircraft in DCS. Coming in at number 4 on the list is the F-A-18C Hornet. The Hornet is a multi-role aircraft designed as a jack of all traits. The F-18 has the largest air-to-air -air payload of any fighter, sitting at an incredible 10 AMRAMs. However, this comes at a price. Carrying 10 AMRAMs makes you very heavy and means you're going to be slow, and slow means dead. The Hornet has a very good data link and a very good RWR, helping massively with situational awareness. And if you're unlucky enough to merge with a bandit, the Hornet can pull massive AOA to get your nose around on him, allowing for an easy gun kill. And if you still can't get your nose around, no problem. The Hornet has a helmet mounted display, which allows you to lock the bandit off bore sight and fire the dreaded AIM 9X to get that kill. The Hornet's biggest shortcoming is its low thrust to weight ratios, especially when carrying a large payload. This low thrust to weight ratio means the Hornet has a large degree of difficulty getting fast at high altitudes, making it a sitting duck up high. And also, due to the same reason, unable to get you those very long range 50 km plus AMRAM kills possible in other aircraft. Overall, the Hornet is an amazing aircraft and very capable, so the F-A-18C takes the number 4 slot. The number 3 position is going to go to the F-14 Tomcat. The F-14 would need a competent pilot and Rio team to be truly competitive, although still very capable with Jester. The F-14 can take off with a maximum of 6 AIM-54 Phoenix missiles, although no more than 4 is really realistic. The AIM-54 Phoenix can be fired from very far away and reach speeds of approximately Mach 5. It's very impressive. The F-14 has a good data link and strong radar when used by a competent Rio. The Tomcat also displays very good thrust to weight ratios and can achieve decent Mach speeds at high altitudes. Although, the F-14 does not have the helmet mounted sight or high off bore sight AIM 9Xs. The F-14 is one of the best turn fighters in DCS, as speeds of Mach 0.55 with the flaps down Nothing can outturn a Tomcat. In conclusion, the F-14 is a formidable aircraft in the DCS arena, and almost all pilots hate to see the dreaded F-14 come up on their RWR. The number two position surprisingly goes to the JF-17 Thunder. 
more commonly referred to as the Jeff in the DCS community. The Jeff or JF17 comes with a very good data link coupled with the Fox 3 SD10 missiles and very strong RWR, the JF17 can be a formidable opponent in the air, affording the pilot a high degree of situational awareness. In the merge, the F-17 is no slouch either. The JF-17 has one of the best max rate performances in DCS and also comes with very fast Fox 2s capable of reaching speeds of Mach 3 to 4 depending on the altitude, allowing you to splash bandits and emerge very quickly. The JF-17 does have some shortcomings to take note of. The Jeff lacks a helmet mounted sight and high offbore sight missiles and also has low thrust to weight ratios. This means it's not capable of getting very fast and very high and struggles to regain speed in a dogfight should you get too slow. It's also important to note that the JF-17 is very data link dependent as its own radar sees a very narrow portion of the sky, which means you can miss bandits that are flying higher or lower or very small degrees off of where your radar is looking. But as mentioned, this can be overcome by data link. Overall, when it comes to air to air performance, the JF-17 remains one of the best and most capable aircraft in DCS. And finally, we have the king of air-to-air, -air, the DCS F-16 Viper. It's important to note that the F-16 is very much still in development and has a long way to go before being completed. Regardless, even in its current form, the F-16 is one of the most capable air-to-air -air platforms of DCS. The Viper boasts an impressive thrust to weight ratio, allowing it to reach speeds as high as Mach 1.7 at high altitudes, which will dramatically increase its missile performance. The high thrust to weight ratio also means you can get very fast when engaged, making it difficult for missiles to hit you, and also the F-16 can regain energy in a dogfight very quickly should you accidentally get too slow. The Viper's impressive radar coupled with a very good data link and RWR, the Viper allots its pilot a high degree of situational awareness and is more than capable of defending itself with a maximum of 6 AMRAMs available from its payload. Should the Viper ever be forced into a merge, it'll be able to make quick work of the Bandit with its helmet mounted sight and high off bore sight AIM-9Xs. The Viper's only true shortcoming is its short legs meaning you'll have to be very wary of your fuel state at all times. And so for all of the reasons mentioned above, the F-16 is my number one choice for the best air-to-air -air platform in DCS. All right, guys, that's my top five air-to-air -air aircraft DCS. Again, that's just my opinion. Let me know if you agree with them. Um, if you would switch up the numbers, move some planes around and stuff, um, let me know in the comment section. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you found it helpful. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye, guys.